Welcome to Beat Source Tech. My name's Mojack. Christopher Mojax Brackley, the man with two X's. He had three, but YouTube kept demonetizing his videos for explicit content. Mojax and his Mohawk have been a staple in the DJ community for decades, back when he was just known as Fat Bob. Here he is back in 1968, the only teenager with facial hair. Mojax has been helping people in the industry make informed decisions on purchases for years. But the question is, can you trust Mojax? Questioning whether you can trust Mojax is a very serious accusation. His British action alone demands a certain level of respect. His B-roll alone puts him in a category all by himself. But B-roll and just being British can't fool me. By the way, B-roll, short for British. What about this guy, Pierce Morgan? He's British, and no one trusts a word that comes from his mouth. Well, technically, both of them. Given the fallout, well, given you, the fallout... Do you care about the hurt fallout. you caused? So, accent aside, does he still possess enough knowledge to truly help the community? Or is he just filling in his DJ City video quota? I mean, beat source. But that's another story. So let's insert this video here. Swedish House Mafia DJ gear? You can't be serious. Now, normally, this is where I turn off a video and go watch something else, but something caught my eye. The speaker stands. Mojax claimed that not only did he like them, but he would actually be keeping them in the studio. Listen, as a tech reviewer, I always say, look at what people use when they are not shooting review. I've always told people, if you want to know what I like, check my IG for live video clips. If I'm using the gear on an event and I'm not testing, you can pretty much assume that I actually like the product. Can the same thing be said about Mojax? Well, he lives too far for me to do a physical inspection. I guess I'll have to take his word for it. Or do I? Now, my first thought was that they would be close to the Swedish meatballs. Unfortunately, for the gear and my stomach, they weren't. On to the maze of furniture, AKA IKEA. Now, one of the issues with IKEA is it's not designed for you to just hop in and hop out. There is a process when shopping at IKEA. One-way lanes, no going back once in, you have to just ride the wave. Now, once you're in IKEA, there's absolutely no way to get out. You're stuck here. That's one of the things that Mojax does not tell you. Of course, the Swedish House Mafia furniture couldn't be easy to find in the store. Where's the uh, Swedish House Mafia stuff that they're selling now? The Swedish what? The Swedish, it's like Obergron or it's, it's the all black DJ stuff. Oh, that's, they have a whole section of what downstairs in the second floor, right? When you go down the stairs, right there. Perfect, thank you very much. This is what I came here for. Now let's see if we can find it. I'll check this out. Check this out. Hey, at least they're actually using Serato, even though it is fake. But this is what true DJing is. They understand what a real DJ is going, wants to use. This must be the bag for your records. Oh, they have record sleeves. Nothing in them. That'd be amazing if there was actually a, like a Elvis the Grand side song there. Maybe like a Swedish House Mafia edit. That'd be kind of dope. Don't you worry, don't you worry. That's the lamp. Okay. I'm mad at that. Nice little key light here. I might have to grab that. That's actually kind of nice. And then here are the illustrious bags. And when I tell you they feel like paper, that would be an overstatement. Also, this is their stand, which can also double as like a picnic table. I like how the keyboard is literally like above the, oh, the computer, oh, the, oh.
Okay, so they don't have any here. We're gonna drive the Costa Mesa location, which is about 26 more miles away. If I can even get out of this place. Approximately 10 hours later. Probably about seven miles in Ikea, just to find the exit. Still haven't found it. I'm a little worried. I'm gonna run out of food. I had a, had a big lunch. I don't think I'm ever getting out of here. Now, it might be my bad luck or the fact that I trusted Mojax, but there were no stands at my Ikea. So I had to go and drive to another Ikea about 30 miles away. So when it was all said and done, I actually got the stands to work properly. They came out really, really nice. They're actually pretty nice looking stands, especially for the cost. And you can't really get better stands for that price point. Normally you're gonna spend a lot more money. Now, can you find better ones out there? Of course, but if you want something that's easy to make your table look nice and not have to spend a lot of money, Ikea is definitely a choice. Which brings me back all the way around to the initial point of this video. Can you trust Mojax? And I'm gonna say this, 100% you absolutely can trust Mojax. Mojax has been in this industry well before I was in here. And as a matter of fact, he's one of the reasons that I got into the industry anyway. And uh, the information that he puts out there, the amount of work, the amount of effort that he puts out into his videos are pretty much second to none. And you can pretty much guarantee that the information that is coming out of Mojax's mouth and the visuals that you see are going to be 100% accurate. Of course, everything's opinion based. So something that he might say may be something that you don't agree with, but it doesn't mean that what he's saying isn't fair and balanced, which is what I do appreciate about Mojax. He's a stand-up guy and you could definitely trust Mojax for your DJ needs. Now, of course, I know I'm joking around. A lot of these things is kind of just, you know, having fun with a friend of mine. And I really consider him to be a friend. We have developed a great relationship over the past couple of years, especially after the pandemic. So uh, I think he can take a joke when he sees a joke. So if you're not following Mojax, make sure you head over there to Mojax's site, which is the DJ City site, which is also the Beat Source Tech site. Like I said, a completely different story. And of course, follow him on his IG and on Twitch when he DJs uh, on Wednesdays and whenever he feels the need to do so. So make sure you follow that man. He's a special one. All right, guys, if you found what I said are useful, hit that like button. If you found what I said are really useful, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you follow me on the Instagrams and the Twitters. Get on my Discord because that's where we're talking about all things Cleveland Terry. Guys, girls, always a pleasure. If I don't talk to you later, we'll talk soon. Peace. <laughs> uh, this could go either really bad or really good. Who knows? Leave it in the comments below what you thought about it. I have no idea. It's uh, almost one in the morning and I'm finishing up on this video. So who knows how it's going to turn out. You guys let me know in the comments below and uh, we will go from there. I will see you guys on Twitch on Tuesdays. We're going to be doing Mixed Down Tuesdays and then obviously on YouTube on Thursdays where we have Tech Thursdays. All right, y'all.